a long time ago, before Jesus was even born, there was a woman named Naomi. She was moving back to Bethlehem, where she had grown up, because her husband had died. So it wasn't safe to stay where she was, because she didn't have anyone to take care of her. Her daughter-in-law, Ruth, whose husband had also died, could have moved back to her home, Moab. But instead, she said to Naomi, where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. So they moved to Bethlehem together. When they got there, they had to find work and food. Back then, farmers would be grain in the field for the poor people to gather. It was called, drum roll, uh, gleaning. So Ruth gleaned in a field owned by a man named Boaz. Every day, Ruth would go to the field and pick up the barley that had dropped. She worked really hard to feed her family. Boaz, the owner of the field, saw Ruth one day and noticed how hard she had been working. He told his workers, drop a little extra barley for Ruth. He took good care of her. He protected her. And after a while, he wanted to marry her. And guess what? She wanted to marry him too. So they did. Eventually they had a son, Obed, who had a son, Jesse, who had another son. And that son was David, the one who killed Goliath, the king of Israel, the one who wrote the book of Psalms. And he was related to someone pretty special too, Jesus. Maybe Ruth thought she was alone, but God had big plans for her to be a part of Jesus' family. And that's, and that's, and that's a part of God's story.